a very special day because it's not only the 73rd Republic Day, it's also the celebration of the 150th birth anniversary of Sri Aurobindo, who had played a very pivotal, a very important role in all the freedom, in all the unity, in all the beautiful things of life that every Indian today enjoys and also takes for granted. And as Sri Aurobindo had mentioned in his five dreams, there is something that we have to constantly remind ourselves of not just the limited things that we probably get to see with our senses, get to feel and see and taste and touch with our senses. There's something far more beautiful, far more special that especially those of us in Oroville have been called to be a part of and manifest. This has to be a city not just of brick, mortar, gravel, but of living human beings that embody, embody the spirit of selflessness, that complete consecration to the divine, to the truth, as Mother had said at Sri Aurobindo in his philosophy and direct action had mentioned. Sri Aurobindo says, Mother Durga, enter our bodies in thy yogic strength. May our entire life become a ceaseless worship of the mother. All our acts, a continuous service to the mother, full of love, full of energy. This is our prayer, O Mother. Descend upon earth. Make thyself manifest in this land of India. And probably, not just probably, I have a strong feeling he was referring to Auroville too in particular when he dreamt of these lines because these things have a way of manifesting themselves at a plane which transcends space and time. And we have a very special responsibility, a special duty, a special privilege to actually be those children of the mother, those warriors of the divine that can actually play our role in making this happen collectively with collaboration with coordination and actually be a willing servitor of the Divine Consciousness. And I think today is also a day for all of us to do a bit of introspection, reflection. I think the contribution of each one of us, each one of you in Auroville has been phenomenal, incredible, I would say, without any doubt. I think what we have done here in terms of transforming this piece of land into one of the greenest places on earth, creating this beautiful miracle of Matra Mandir. But when I see these images, the detailed drawings, the pictures, even during the Dreamweaver session, etc., I feel that what we are all about to see manifest here in our living lifetimes is something very, very, very special. And I would again request all of us to collectively join hands and make this beautiful city manifest itself. It is already there, as Mother said. It has to be allowed by all of us to land with that great deal of affection, love, receptivity on our part to become instruments that allow her to do her divine work and offer her grace, accept her grace and allow her offering to manifest on earth. Mother said, give up all personal seeking for comfort, satisfaction, enjoyment or happiness. Be only a burning fire for progress. Take whatever comes to you as an aid for progress and immediately make whatever progress is required. On that day, let us all resolve again today on this beautiful day to boldly and swiftly leap towards the future and it's our duty not just for our sake but if we do this horrible is a small symbol but a very mighty a very powerful presence a symbol of what will happen all across the world across the universe so my best wishes to all of us to again rededicate ourselves offer ourselves surrender ourselves to the divine and 
be instruments in the manifestation of something very beautiful that may radiate this beauty, harmony, progress, and all that mankind needs all across the globe and the universe. Jai Hind. Vande Mataram.